All right, so here is a 2008 Chrysler Sebring um, Touring. So kind of top of the line, a little nicer car. My name's Justin, Team Hillsdale. Look me up, Team Hillsdale Chrysler. Um, what I want to do is I want to take a video walk around of this exceptional car. Beautifully made product. Uh, any automaker would be proud to have had something designed like this. And uh, what I want to do is do a walk around and show you why this car has made such an impression on my mind. Um, handling, superb. The ride, luxury, and if you get the right engine, pretty peppy too. Uh, but uh, if you're looking at Sebrings, you know, look them up on YouTube, Sebrings, just to kind of get an idea of what it is. We've got several on here, wonderful cars. So go ahead and take a look at this, you know, kind of formulate your own ideas. If you're looking at a new one, why not go use? Save yourself some money, um, low miles, certify them, they'll be safe, just like brand new quality. So it might be an option if you're looking for a new one. We'll see what we can do too. But uh, here we got this one. Kind of want to start. What I'm going to do is a little walk around, real simple, real quick. Uh, gorgeous color. I like that color, by the way. As if you were right here, so you can kind of get a feel of what this is better than photographs can. So we'll start from the front. Um, right there, you have your halogen headlamps, um, fog lamps. Even that's designed. Look at the, how it's curved around. Not only aerodynamics, but actually, if you stand back a little bit, Provides a pretty cool look to the car. A little, almost like it's opening its jaw a little bit. But we'll go around this side. Now I don't notice any scratches or any dents or anything. Um, some bug, bug nasty. That happens. Bug nasty. All right. So chrome, um, chrome tires too. By the way, uh, 18 inch Chrysler rims that provide an excellent ride and a gorgeous look to the car. So you got the chrome rims, the flash lead lenses in the front. You got color matching mirrors. And then the chrome handles inside here. Now this one, instantly, geez, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Chrome there, you got your power locks, windows, you know, and such. But, uh, you know, I opened that. That one caught my eye real quick. Because, you know, you look in there and you got the hardwood interior leather. Which, that's excellent. And it's heated leather, too. I don't know if you can get in there and see that. Now all these buttons I'll show you in a minute, so I'll kind of hide them from you. But, heated leather. All right. Now as you look at the seat... No punctures, nothing. Look at the roof, no smoke stains, no pet furs, nothing. Go around. Look at the back, that's kind of a cool design door. Look, it kind of wraps around the tire itself. That gives it an aggressive, sporty stance. I don't know, I mean, everyone's familiar with the brand BMW. They do the same thing. If you look how it kind of comes out, do it with my finger, weatherman type. Comes out right here, see, kind of flows with the car. That gives it an aggressive stance. You know, the tires are out. It's aggressive. Great handling, too. That's, that's also functional from a visual aspect. And if you look, the door kind of curves right into it, too. So that's neat. Leather seats. Um, let's see. A little dirty. There's a little stain there. And we got, looks like a bumblebee, dead bumblebee. But uh, other than that, seats are in great condition. What is this thing? I haven't really played with this car much. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of a dirt stain there, but uh, that's fuzzy. Not interested in fuzzies. All right, go around to the back. Um, that's nasty. Bird poo poo. Yuck. Right, so you don't want bird poo poo. All right. There's the limit. Now let me pop the trunk here. Let's see. Oop, that is to a Ford Grand Marquis. We don't want that one either. Oh, same Ford. All right, hold on. Keys are in here somewhere. Maybe I left them in the car. Let's go around this way real quick. Can I leave them in here? Huh. All right. There they are. All right. Let's try that again. It's got remote start, which is that button right there. And this is for trunk. There we go. Now, this also has a cargo divider, which this slides back and forth. Or comes out, and you know, you just gotta unfasten it. Really wide trunk, still got plenty of room back there. Now, the seats do fold flat. The rear seats fold flat, which is great for hiding whatever you want. Um, suitcases, you know, large suitcases, and you, you know, if you have lumber or anything, uh, potted plants, anything along those lines, grandbabies, children that are acting up, shove them in the trunk, pop the seat so they have breath. There you go. So, let's see. Go around. Seen that back seat. I'll step in the driver's side. Peter mirrors. All right. All right, now this is where the luxury is at. I'm going to spend a couple minutes in here and showing you what's going on. Tilt steering wheel too, I just put that down by the way. 
you got your wood interior. What up here? Chrysler's uh, analog clock. That's always kind of a cool thing to go. Now, at nighttime, when you uh, when you turn this on, it's got what they call electroglow. Now, the way that works is, let me show you here. I'll turn this thing on. See how it kind of green shimmer to that? Let me see. There you go. Look at that. Now, uh, what that does, now, not only does it look really cool at nighttime, you know, all these things light up green, your little analog clock runs green, that runs green, your numbers run green. Now, what that does is uh, it's actually really easy on your eyes. It's bright. It's super bright at nighttime, as you can imagine. And we're sitting under some pretty powerful lights. Bam. All right. Anyway, so it's still bright in here with all those lights. And, uh, excuse me, what that does is it's easy on your eyes because of the light green, but it also provides no glare which is amazing at nighttime. You don't want light bouncing around the cabins, distracting. That's why you don't drive with the lights inside and you know, the dome lights on. So that's a safety feature and it's easier on your eyes. I like how that glows like that. That's pretty cool. You got your sound system. Six disc CD changer. All right. Here is heated seat for driver, passenger. You can turn the ESP off. Now the reason to do that is if you want to have a little fun, or if you get stuck in snow, we'll start there. If you get stuck in snow, practicality-wise, you turn that off, you can get the vehicle rocking a little bit and get yourself out. And uh, for fun standpoint, this has a 3.5 liter high output V6. That's what they put in the chargers. You turn that off, you stomp on the gas, let go of the brake, and you'll do a little uh, front wheel burnout. So there's your compass. Now listing, this has a, you see, I don't know, setup. This has the EVIC, which is the electronical Electronic Vehicle Information Center. And um, what that does is gives you, you know, your trip, your fuel economy, such as that, your compass. So pretty cool sound system. Now, all Chrysler products, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, regardless of how basic they are, have Alpine speaker systems. Already pre -met, you know, they're already built in. That's the stock st uh, features for any Chrysler product is Alpine. Unless you get an upgrade system that goes to kicker and you're just thumping tunes. But anyway, automatic there, there. All right, so let me get out here and uh, shut this thing down. All right, oop, got the key. Light's still on. Oh, all right, so here's your locks on the mirror Go around this side. Anyway, that is 2008 Chrysler Sebring. Now, if you're looking for new, let me know. I can find a new one, do this. And anyway, if you think you're interested, give me a call, look me up, Justin at Team Hillsdale, 888-505-9153. Uh, so, have at it.